here we stand, next to ourselves, in a position that we do not want to be playing, but sometimes you have to pay your dues in order to get to the top. And Rusty Cannon is nothing if not someone who is willing to do what it takes to get to the top. Hello everyone, and welcome back to MLB The Show 18's Road to the Show. A podcast media exclusive. That's right, we're the only ones playing this game in the entire world right now. Nobody else has access. We're breaking embargo. <laughs> None of that was true. We bought this legally. It was already hit stores. I'm assuming the embargo had passed. Because <laughs> that's usually how those work. But welcome back to Kyle Snow and Chris Miller. And Rusty fucking Cannon. How's it going, Chris? I mean, pretty good. We're leading off. We are the, the uh, lead However, Batman. we're playing left field, so that kind of sucks. Yeah, that does suck. Oh, look at Chad Wills fucking... Oh, he's he's got a cold streak going. Maybe you should fucking put Rusty Cannon in there where he belongs. I, I, I think we're only going to be playing left field for like a few more games, honestly. And then they'll be like, this is a I fucking terrible idea. Uh, usually they're like... They give you the option of staying there or going back to your old position. What kind of baseball organization gives you the option? You can play whatever you want. Like, fucking, if I remember correctly, in Moneyball, Brad Pitt was like, yo, you're a, f- uh, you're a first baseman now because there's a lot less pitching. Or there's a lot less throwing because you can't. There was that guy who had, like, the kind of fucked up arm or something. Mm-hmm. Actually, was that guy played by Chris Pratt? I just feel like he was. Uh, no. Was he even remotely close to Chris Pratt? Yeah. No, okay. he's the one. He's the one quite famous. I just can't remember who. I'm going to look it up. But yeah, what to... So it's been a little while. I don't really remember what's going on. I remember our team is terrible. And I remember that we're awesome. Look at the batting averages, Kyle. Yeah. Ooh. Jamal's kind of like keeping pace a little bit. But outside of him... I mean, Chad Wells actually is not doing too bad. Digging in to try it again. Rusty Cannon. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. And he throws the fastball by him here. 0 and 1. Son of a bitch. The wind up and the 0 1. Um, let's take a look here. Jonah Hill, obviously. Slider. Your boy. It's someone pretty, like, decently famous. Yeah. It was Chris Pratt. Was it? Mm-hmm. Yep. That is Scott Hatterberg. That was the guy, right? First baseman? Yes. Scott Hatterberg it. actually was a decent player. Uh, yeah. Don't have... Yeah, born in 69. Wow. Guy's almost as old as my mom. Kim would be pissed if I told people that, but... Shout out, shout out for Kim. <laughs> Let's look poor one out for Kim. Yeah. I'm the one who says pour one out. Yeah, not in this case. And there he goes towards second. Strike three right. in the throw. Wait, there's a picture of him standing next to Chris Pratt, which I guess makes sense. Sad face. So I'm used to playing as my speedster, so I'll steal these. Yeah, I gotta adjust here. Really Did you totally fuck it up? Oh. That's not what you want. All right, one for two. We can really bring uh, bring the game back into our good graces here. I want to take a pitch. There we go. Would you say that you're somebody who respects the Moneyball style? <sighs> yes, I respect it. I don't agree with it fully, though. Okay. Would you would you care um, to elaborate fact, a little more on that? Well, it worked for like a year or two, and now his team is completely atrocious, and they trade all their best players because they don't want to pay for them because they feel like they can get cheap guys who can do the same thing, mm-hmm. but they can't. Um, you think that might have been like an element of luck the first time? Definitely. Absolutely. Okay. Yeah, it sounds like it was a good call the first time because if I, like 
I, I don't know how much accuracy there was in the film, but if I remember, like, their best players were all leaving for free agency and there was no way they were keeping them. So it's like, well, what do you do? Hey, let's get some cheap guys who can get on base. Like, that sounds like a really good idea but when you're stuck in a pitch. You know why they didn't keep them, right? Because no, they didn't why? want to pay them. Oh, the first time? Okay. Yeah. The Athletics are a small budget team, so they don't want to pay their players. Okay, and that's so, what led to doing. I want to double check sure to find cheap options. I understand this. Baseball is like one of the only professional sports that doesn't have any sort of salary cap, right? So you can just pay your guys like absorbent amounts of money to keep them. Is that correct? Te technically, yes. Okay. What, what do you mean by technically? There are yes. Technically, caps on um, like luxury tap tax type stuff. But it's yeah, pretty much you have a right. But you won't run into the same issue where like spend two hundred million. There's teams that spend forty. Okay, yeah, but you won't run into a situation where it's like, yo, Alex Ovechkin, I'd really love to pay you more, but your teammates are, are going to earn this much, and you, we can't we can't pay you more. Even though we have the money to do it, there's a salary I mean, gap. you absolutely run into those situations. Because realistically, uh, what happens is the owners have their own budgets. So, like, okay. the athletics owner is cheap compared to, let's say, the Yankees owner. Who is right, just, but... Not so everyone's playing with the same numbers. Like, the Yankees probably pay significantly more money than anyone else. Uh, sure. Right, whereas, like, it doesn't matter if the Washington Capitals or the Columbus Blue Jackets, like, in the NHL, you're paying, like, $55 million some, or whatever. Some owners are just cheap, man. Mm -hmm. the, the Blue Jays had Rodgers was cheap for years until they started getting results, and then they just decided they wouldn't be so cheap. Yeah, they can. it was worth investing a little more. Ah, oh, come on. With that well, you get money. You get money for making the playoffs. Oh. Okay. A lot of it. Like, the league actually gives you some, or just, like, obviously, postseason yes. games mean extra games you wouldn't have well, otherwise? You do get bonuses for going to the playoffs. Yeah. Plus, obviously, and, and yes, obviously you get. Yeah. You get more home games that obviously are. Come on, man. What the fuck kind of bullshit was that guy? Get your batters up. Out there. So the batting order turns over now and set to go. Rusty Cannon. Oh, oh base is slowed. Okay, this is time for the grand slam. The grand slam floaty pitch. Oh, that's the one, Chris. Oh, I actually might have done it. Damn it. Son of a bitch. Someone's getting oh. out. No, it's two outs. Oh, was it two outs? Damn it. Yeah. That was close. I thought I hit it well, too. Yeah, you did. Like, it was close to the wall. <sighs> the commentator got me a little bit excited because he's like, oh, that's hit high, hard, and deep. I'm like, oh, yeah. Right and it was. Oh, rusty. That's what you need. Look at that reaction. Look at that fielding. Underdog. The underhand throw. Yeah, well, no, there's no man on play, right? Take your fucking time with that shit. Die for it. Oh, no. <laughs> Rusty. What was your center fielder doing there? Like, that was some garbage. I had to try for it. I don't think I... I don't think I'll get any errors or anything. No, I didn't. Perfect. How did you tell? Because you get a negative. Oh, okay. <laughs> just off a negative sets? Yeah. Would you have gotten it if you had just, like, not jumped, like, like a little floaty I, I think so, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, don't fuck it up this time, okay? <laughs> There's two guys on base. Too. I know. Okay, you might have to die for that one. No, Chris, no! Okay. That, that first jump was maybe a tad early, okay? <laughs> I felt like I could get away with it. Do you, like... You're gonna, you're gonna be embarrassed on TSN tomorrow off of that one. Also, you guys are having a rough go. Are you going for it? I wouldn't. Oh, that's an error. Does it count as an error? Uh, they probably won't call it because I didn't advance a base. Okay, if you did, they would have been like, hey, nice job, idiot. Yes. It would have been a single reaching on second on an error. Okay. Also, this is the time you have to score. I know, I'm trying to get the second. I know you are. That pitcher fucking knows, though. He's got your number. It's zero.
He's not, you're gonna run out of fucking showtime. Oh, I timed it perfectly too. <sighs> yeah, I ran out of showtime. It threw me off. A little bit. In the first base. Also, why are these, going, why are these people in this fucking stadium not wearing my jersey? I don't understand. Man. Are you in? Are you in your own jersey? Like, are you guys in your own field? No. Or? Okay, well that might be why. Um. So. Come on, man. Like, I felt like that communication about first baseman was terrible. He's going. He's going. Who's going? Well, the only guy on base. Well, still, did he know that? I uh, I might stay on third. Oh, you going? Screw it. Yes. Nice. Oh, that was close. Nice, nicely played. Oh, let's see this. Uh, let's see this replay. Oh, Rusty. He's already. <laughs> that ball almost hit you. Um, would anything have happened? Like, you're not out if you get hit by a ball, are you? Like, it's not... Actually, you are. Yeah, okay. you are. I was going to ask because, um, when I played Little League, there was a time where I was, uh, I was the first baseman, and there was a hit that, keep in mind, this is Little League, so balls just died on the line sometimes. And it was about halfway down the line, and we had a guy on first. So him and I are both running, obviously he's running second base, I'm running for the ball, and he fucking just boots the ball into the outfield. And they called him out, but I wasn't sure. Like that would have made sense, obviously, right? Because it's like, okay, you just impeded the play, asshole. But if like, mm -hmm. if your batter hits you with the ball, you're out. Yeah, there might be a gray area to it, but as far as I know, you don't usually want to get hit by the ball. Well, no, obviously, it makes like it ruins the play. Like it's not advantageous for you in any way. Getting hit by the ball, you're stopping. Maybe, it. maybe we might have we might have to do it purposefully. Yeah. So obviously that scenario yes, that they, they came up all interference on the playing call you out. Yeah, like but like if that one had hit you there, like it clearly you were trying to get to second base. So you guys lost that game, I'm assuming. I missed it. We, yeah, we definitely did that four. Oof. He's there. Come on. He was safe. I'm calling shenanigans. Sorry, man. Soon I'll be in your play. Didn't like that one. That's a good approach when you're facing a young arm you might not be too familiar with. Take a look at a few and see what he's got. Count. Chop weakly to the right. Oh, that's not what you want. Not even a little bit. Yeah. So one thing I wasn't expecting when I uploaded one of the uh, earlier episodes of this, we got copyright stricken. So anytime music is playing, we're going to have to talk over it very loudly. Wow, that's kind of crazy. I know. Well, I disputed it, which I'm, most of those have worked. The only ones I had issues with have been the, um, the time-lapse episodes that we did. Yeah, which I'm still going to look into. I just... It's a dispute not approved, but it lets me counter that. So what I'm assuming happened, uh, which I will look into, is I think that what happens is, like, YouTube doesn't hasn't been involved at any point up until this point. What I assume happened is that some automatic thing picked us up, which obviously would have had to happen when those videos are still unlisted. I went and uh, put in a counterclaim, which YouTube still has not looked at. The, the uh, person is notified, like, hey, this guy put in a counterclaim, so if you don't do anything in 30 days, your claim is gone. And then he said, "No, fuck this. We're gonna, we're gonna contest this." So I think that if I do it again, nice. I think that that means that then YouTube takes a look at it and goes, "Okay, these guys haven't come to an agreement. Let's take a look." But if we lose on that, we can get a copyright strike. So I need to make sure that we aren't already fucked because I'm 100% certain that this falls under fair use. We're being transformative of the work around it. Uh, we're not the ones who put in the song, and it's like a minute-long song and a 40-minute video or whatever. Like. But, but part of a game that we've definitely given, uh, cri like, you know, criticism of in some form or the other. The game, if not the song. So, the, the art form in, as a medium has been transformative. But, uh, obviously, I'm going to look into that because it's not really worth the risk. Uh, non, non stuff like that. Baseball season starts tomorrow. Baseball season starts tomorrow? It sure does. The Jays opening day. Ooh. I'm really excited. 
I would be too. Obviously, by the time this comes up, baseball season will have started several weeks ago. Uh, Rusty Cannon, so we're going to be a J. Yeah. Oh, I don't think he's ready to. I would not go for second. A shortstop giving you some trouble. Okay, you guys are only down by one. What the hell is the home road splits? Some guys, quite frankly, like it better on the road than they do at home. Um, the idea that guys hit a lot better at home than on the road or vice versa. What a strange concept. Like, I understand, like, home field advantage. Yeah, this is the one. You need it, too. You guys are down with fucking six runs. You could grand slam this shit and you're still losing the game. Wouldn't have been the worst thing in the world if he'd walked you. Yeah, good idea to hang close at first as he'll make it back easily. Eh, I don't know that. Third, Hernandez at second, Wills is over at first with one away. No. That is not going to do it. On the infield, and the infield fly rule will be in effect here. Yeah, your your clutch batting not so high right now. That was a pretty clutch moment. With the bases loaded, a simple pop up and nothing productive. That's not what you want. Are they going to let you back and fucking shortstop? Uh, they usually will do it in between series, series. when you're back in the club. I was right. So. Gotcha. Hopefully. Dude, I'm having a great series, by the way. 7 for 16. Also, pink bats, because breast cancer awareness. Ah, nice. I thought we just set the bats to be pink. But no, I think that you're... So they actually like, keep track of like the in-game calendar for shit like that? That's kind of cool. Yeah. You'll still have uh, Jackie Robinson Day where everyone wears number 42. Every player in the game wears number 42? Yeah, in the majors. That's... I don't know if they do it in the minors. That's actually awesome. Confusing, potentially. And like, do they say, like, and here it comes to the field, number 42. Uh, He's batted in by number forty-two. Probably, yeah. That would be. That sounds like the easiest day on commentary ever. Well, it's actually probably the hardest because they don't usually have names in the back for Jackie Robinson Day, so you have to figure out who is who. Oh, they don't have the names in the back? I guess because they're no, only aware it once. Well, when Jackie Robinson played, he didn't have names on his back either. It's just forty-two, right? So. Was that just because it was like the forties and nobody did, or it just? Yeah, still some teams don't. The Yankees don't. Okay. That's like a traditional sports thing. Even esports teams do that shit. That was actually pretty close. It's not that close. No? Okay. It felt close. didn't get a tag down. I was concerned. Oof. Alright, let's get... Let's get home. Let's bring it in. So yeah, to get back to the money ball thing, um, I think that there's some logic to, I don't know how much of this is accurate, you probably know a little more about this, but like a lot of the um, criticism to some of the players that Bean wanted to bring in were things like, that guy throws weird, as opposed to, you know, like actual criticism. Was that actually like a... Chad Radford was definitely, uh, he got singled out a bit, tripped a bit different. Yeah, but like, if he strikes people out, who gives a fuck? <laughs> Yes, to a degree, but there, there are reasons that guys who throw weird do get still avoided. Um, arm issues is the biggest one. Oh, okay, because like, um, from like a technical guys, perspective? Tim Lincecum is a name you probably don't know, but he was a pitcher of all Giants. Mm -hmm. And at one point, he was a, one of the best pitchers in the game. Yeah. He always had a really weird delivery, and eventually he ran into a lot of issues. Mm. Now, submarine guys, which is what Chad Bradford was, the guy that's in Moneyball, um, mm -hmm. they can be effective, but because it's such a weird way to throw... Um, is it kind of like the knuckleball situation? 
like no, not at all actually. Um, okay, cool. <laughs> I, I, clearly, I know what I'm talking is, about. So because of the way you throw, your arm generally whips through the zone, so generally you can have some more arm issues. But also, um, that's an error. Also, the other issue is um, some guys with submarines can really see the ball better coming out of the hand. Oh, like so, it's easier for the batter? For some. Um, one of the big things pitchers try to do is hide the delivery. But when you're a submariner, you're going down and you're kind of showing, kind of, not necessarily showing what you're throwing, but it's harder to hide the ball when you're submarining. Okay. What do you mean by submarining? Is just that they throw low and drops? Submarine is where you, you go really low and sidearm it. Okay. Which is what the guy did in Moneyball. Okay. It's been a while. Like, I saw that movie in theaters, and I only saw it the one check time. Out a, check out a video after we're done streaming of Trap Bradford. You'll know what I mean. Okay. He Now, he was a pretty good pitcher, though. It's just... Yeah. There are some concerns people have with pictures like that. They're, they're not traditional, in a sense. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that doesn't matter. Sometimes it does. Yeah. I can understand the criticism for, like, this man's technical um, skill means he's going to have a shorter career or something, right? Like, okay, maybe Definitely. we don't want to get, uh, get in on that. It, that's something that's pretty common, I think, in, um, like, technical sports and comes up in esports too, where it's like you. don't fucking One lean weird because you're gonna fuck up your wrists or whatever. Like, well, One of the other biggest stuff. issues um, with submariners is control, being accurate with throws consistently. Yeah. Because there's so much movement that's kind of unnatural in your pitching style, it can really throw off your timing. Okay. Um, I don't know. Ch have to look up Trav Adford's numbers before going there, but it wouldn't surprise me if he had a lot of walks. Yeah. It's usually a, a telltale story of control issues. Yeah, because I'm assuming that like a lot of like pitchers will throw like riskier pitches that like could be like sneak into strike zones when there's like you know no balls on the on the count. But if you know they're probably going to throw more um, like more consistently, like this is definitely going to be in the strike zone pitches for they, if they're afraid of walking the guy or whatever. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you can't consistently do, it's like having like the tennis players have like a risky first serve, but then if they fault, they're always going to go for their consistent one because they don't want to, you know, give the other guy free points. Yeah, when it's like a three-zero count, you all fill some pitchers just throw a simple fastball down the middle. Yeah, just to make sure they get the strike. Yeah, whereas they might go for the obvious like, uh, like or they might go for like the riskier one if it's you know there's no balls on the. On the count yet, because you have a little bit of wiggle room or whatever. I can get down with that. Let's make a catch. That might be gone. It is. Well, if you wanted a little more, you could have gotten that. I didn't see you trying to climb that wall at all. Come on, Chris, what was that? <laughs> oh, that was a bad inning for you guys. <laughs> oh, that was a three-run home run. Yeah, that'll do it. Yeah, like, oh, like dirty, that, that's man. never... Yeah, well, you've slid a lot. You've stolen, like, four bases. You must be, like, the league leader in steals. There's no way. Yeah. yeah, there's no way anyone else has more than that. Oof, that's an embarrassing hit. <laughs> you did get someone into home with one of those hits, though. Oh, that's what you need. That's what you love. That's not what you want. I thought it was over that guy's head. I'm not very good at baseball. It's okay. It makes for some more entertainment on my part. Oh, I'm absolutely certain it would. Um... I'm, yeah, I can't. I can't even explain how excited I am for baseball season to start tomorrow. Yeah, I just did my baseball draft. That I do every year with my buddies. Yeah. How many J's did you draft, Chris? Two. Uh, Marcus Stroman and my last pick, I took it. Randall Grychuk, just to see if it pans out. Okay. 
Um, no rusty cannon. No rusty cannon, not yet. No, he must have gone earlier than that. Like if you didn't have first pick here. Nice. Not a great game for you guys. Hey, I, I keep hitting well, though. Oh, yeah, you've been hitting fine. What does L4 stand for? And 5-3. Like, I understand that. Line out to the number 4. So, it isn't based on your number, but, like, for example, um, catcher is 1. You just as an example, um, so you'll have like uh, shortstop is six, is catcher one, no pitcher is probably one, catcher's two, um, I think first base is three. This sounds r incredibly arbitrary. Second base four, third base five, shortstop six, outfield spots are seventy nine. Okay. So sure. it's just for score scoring reasons. So you know, ground out to three. Okay, so when it says 5-3, that means that, like, 5th like, guy through to 3rd guy? You often hear, like, double play going, um, the, uh, uh, 6-4-3 double play. Gotcha. Yeah. Shortstop to second baseman to first baseman to get the double play. Okay. That kind of stuff, basically. Yeah. Should we, uh, should we uh, check in on social media before we, uh... Let's just talk about how well I'm doing right now. Okay. Numbers. Compared to the starting left fielder on the Jays. I mean, yeah. starting shortstop, yeah. Come on, Tuba Witsky. Yeah, Tuba Witsky's playing well. Well, he's old. Sure, though. you're better at hitting than he is. You might see time as a uh, as a pinch hitter. Oh, you got a straight up message from. Won't be setting any fielding records. Oh. It's almost like we're a shortstop or something. You look my boy oh, yeah. Mark Cannon last game. Blast a couple hits doing his thing. Hashtag TCB. About time you use that speed ears. Tim, can you chill? Love it. Hashtag speedster. That's, these are some fucking garbage tweets. Like, put a little originality in them, guys. You don't want to get noticed. Oh, it's Happy Mother's Day. That's why they used to be pets. Oh, I'm man. I shouldn't have done that. Yeah, we've been to a Mother's Day game, Chris. I know. All three of us. Me, you and Ryan. Well, I think that's it. Yeah, that'll uh, that'll that'll bring it home for uh, for this episode. We're hitting really well right now. Road of the show. Dude, we're, we're crushing it. Our defensive play is not as good, but we're getting on base. That's all we can hope for. If we have Jays behind us who can fucking... You know, I mean, as soon as we play shortstop, we're good again. So it's, it's okay. Yeah. We're back in their good graces. But, uh, maybe, maybe, so. Yeah, well, though we have obviously been playing with a handicap, sometimes coaches want to test their players and see what they're made of. They want to... If you just win immediately, it's not as interesting of a storyline, you know? Sometimes the... Your protagonist, your main character, has to face a little adversity in a way where, also I'm just going to obligatorily say, this song is strange, so that I have put in some commentary about it, and I've given it some criticism, so fuck you, copyright people. But, but uh, Rusty Cannon will rise from the ashes like a phoenix, and when he does, it will be glorious.